Origami's user-friendly design makes it easy to achieve professional results. In this video, we will help you master origami, covering topics on setting up a system, layout, light sheet modifications, accessories, and mounting. Let's get started by reviewing specifications and system requirements. Each Origami Gen 2 light sheet requires 24 volts DC and consumes 17.2 watts. You may connect up to five full light sheets or 86 watts per class two guidelines. For additional specifications, please visit us online. Generally speaking, an origami system is comprised of light sheets, 24 volt DC power supplies, and an appropriate lighting control. It's extremely beneficial to complete a dry fit layout as it will help you plan light sheet cuts, folds, and power connections, ultimately saving you time and materials. We recommend testing your lighting products upon delivery and at several stages during your install. Frequent testing helps ensure your system is functioning properly and makes it easier to identify and resolve issues. Origami is cuttable down to a single LED or LED group. The easiest way to cut the light sheet is with a sharp pair of scissors. If using a utility or craft knife, score the light sheet and make multiple light passes for best results. Plan your cut along Origami's cut line path and make clean, precise cuts. Avoid making jagged or sloppy cuts and be sure to stay within the cut line path. To ensure the best outcome, apply a high quality electronic grade, non-conductive sealant to all cut edges. This safeguards against potential short circuits and moisture ingress. This practice is highly recommended, especially if the cut edge has the possibility of contacting a conductive surface, including another light sheet's cut edge. When cutting diagonally, include at least two contiguous rows of LEDs. If a single strip of LEDs is required, plan to make the cut vertically or horizontally. Removing a diagonal strip of LEDs from a light sheet will not affect the function of the rest of the light sheet. Origami is flexible and foldable. Create a seamless effect by folding light sheets over edges or through corners. To fold, bend the light sheet and make a crease. Then relax the fold to the desired angle. It's best to fold light sheets along the cut line paths. Do not fold where any rigid structures such as LEDs or connection blocks are present. Do not repeatedly fold and unfold along the same line as it may weaken the PCB. Each light sheet comes with two long and two short sheet connectors. Use short connectors to join adjacent sheets and long connectors to join offset sheets or to span gaps. To make a connection, simply match the connector's arrow with the sheet's terminal arrow and press the connector into place. Remove connectors by pulling up on the connector wings or the wires near the connector ends. Each power input kit, sold separately, will power up to 5 full light sheets or 86 watts. Plug the power input cable into the light sheet terminal the same way as the sheet connectors. Next. Route the power input cable so that it will not cover any LEDs and use the included wire management clips to secure it in place. Last, with power off at the source, connect the bare wire ends to your power supply or control component using the included Wago connectors. To avoid voltage drop, we recommend that you centrally locate the power input connection so that the furthest part of any light sheet is less than six and a half feet away. Quad bumpers, sold separately, are used to support forward-facing materials. We recommend using four per square foot or eight per light sheet. To install quad bumpers, first remove the bumper's center cap. Next, remove the adhesive backing film and line up the center slot with the light sheet's pre-cut mounting hole. Press into place. Insert a screw into the bumper, sheet hole, and mounting surface. Do not over-tighten. Replace the bumper cap to complete the quad bumper installation. Tunable white and RGBW light sheets have orientation arrows printed on them. Install contiguous sheets with all of these arrows pointing in the same direction. Failure to orient these light sheets consistently will cause adverse color effects. 
To mount origami, get started by thoroughly cleaning the mounting surface. Next, peel back an edge of the adhesive backing film. Line up the light sheet and stick the edge to the mounting surface. Slowly peel the backing film away as you adhere the light sheet to the surface, applying consistent pressure across the entire light sheet. For best results, use the specialized origami installation roller. Last, carefully insert fasteners directly into the light sheet's pre-cut mounting holes at several points or through the quad bumpers as previously described. Over-tightening fasteners may damage the light sheet. Use both the adhesive backing and mechanical fasteners to permanently secure the light sheet to the mounting surface for optimal performance. It's important to use the right style of fastener. Bugle head screws may be used with quad bumpers and wire management clips. Screws that are flat on the bottom of the screw head, such as pan head screws, may be used for direct light sheet mounting. Do not use self-tapping screws as these will damage the light sheet PCB. Thanks for viewing the Origami Gen 2 user guide. Please refer to the product's included instruction manual for more information.